month, the Charlotte region has had a 62% jump in the number of people in the hospital. And that trend Joe talked about of more young people getting sick has played a significant role, experts say, in the spread. Our Tina Terry spoke with local researchers and found these younger patients could have an impact on hospital capacity. North Carolina health officials now giving us a better idea of what's going on inside local hospitals as they battle COVID-19. New data added to this state website shows patients hospitalized with the virus between June 20th and July 20th jumped nearly 40% statewide. In the region, that includes Mecklenburg County, hospitalizations grew by 62% in that same time period. Ironically, the number of available ventilators and ICU beds during that same time period stayed about the same. We're seeing the, the hospitalizations occur among the, the more healthier young and those who have milder symptoms. Public health experts and local hospitals say more young people with milder symptoms are being hospitalized. People who can usually recover without the use of ventilators and ICU beds. In a statement, a spokesperson for Novant Health said, we do share the state's concerns about the trends we're seeing. Today, our ICU cases and ventilations remain steady, but we are seeing an increase of cases that require hospitalization, particularly among younger patients. Novant health officials say they've been working to increase bed capacity by 60% and they're hoping they won't have to use those added beds, but they must see a reversal in recent trends and that will take cooperation from the public, especially younger people. I'm not taking it like as serious as I should be, but I think that young people should take it more seriously. Officials say abiding by the rules that we all know may become more important as we approach fall and winter as kids head back to school and young adults head back to college and as people begin to spend more time inside. Back to you at the desk. Hospitalizations have leveled off in North Carolina lately. The seven day average is relatively flat. The rolling average of new cases is starting to dip slightly, and so is the rate of positive tests. South Carolina reporting more than 1,600 new cases of COVID-19 today and 39 lives lost. One of those was in York County. 19% of tests came back positive.